to start off with um, exfoliating my lips. That way when I put on lipstick later, it's going to be really smooth. And I'm going to use the Lush Mint Juleps. And I'm just going to go to the bathroom because it gets a little messy. And then I'm going to use this um, lip balm that I got at Sephora. It's Smith Strawberry Lip Balm. And this is so good. This is like my favorite lip balm because it's so moisturizing. It's not like too much. It's just about right. Oh. To prime my face, I'm going to use the Benefit Professional. It looks like this. And I didn't apply any foundation or any concealer yet because I do want to put eyeshadow. And it's just easier um, and less messy when you apply your eyeshadow first. That way, if you get any fallout, you can just clean it up easily without messing up your foundation. So for eyebrows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in shade medium brown. It looks like this. I'm going to grab a little um, angled brush. I like to outline my eyebrows really lightly first. Follow my natural brow. going to take this little angled brush it's a little bigger than the other angled brush that I use to shade in my eyebrows and I'm just going to grab concealer on um, my Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade light which I need to get another one because it's almost out I do want to get the Tarte shape tape because I heard it's so good but there's no Ulta around me and I know there's ones in, in Queens there's one in Regal Center which um, my grandma lives around there so when I go like visit them I can go but I don't know I'm just so lazy to go there so I'm just shading well not shading I'm just cleaning below my brow and on top and I'm just going to take this little brush right here it's like I guess a dome brush I don't know I'm not sure um, it's definitely from the drugstore and I'm going to blend it out So I'm also going to take um, the same concealer that I put on my, or under my eyebrows and above my eyebrows and I'm just going to put it on my eyes and blend it. And I'm going to take this little elf powder for the under eye, it looks like this, it's really little. I wish they had a bigger um, pot of, the, of this because, I don't know, it's really good. I'm going to take this Tarte palette. It is, um, I don't know what palette this is because it doesn't say. I'm a, I'm a Amazonian clay matte palette. I guess that's what it's called. Called. I'm not sure if that's really the name of this palette, but it looks like this. It has these colors, and I'm just going to take these two colors right here. Maybe I'll go in for this one, but just these two colors because so I just want this to be a. Uh, brown eye look and I'm just going to apply that color all over my lid but focusing on the crease but all over my lid really lightly and this is an elf blending brush the second shade dreamer on my crease and I'm So this is an e.l.f. Um, professional eye crease brush, but I'm going to use it, yeah, I'm going to use it right here and then on the inner, so the outer lid and then the inner lid.
Alright, so I know that my eyes look a little messy, but I'm actually going to blend everything out until it looks good. After blending on the spot that I didn't um, apply any eyeshadow, I'm just going to apply a little beige shade in there. So I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 103. So I just finished setting my face with the, or my under eye with the Maybelline New York Fit Me Set Plus Smooth um, Powder in the shade Porcelain 110 and it looks like this. To contour my nose and mm, I don't think I'm going to contour the sides of my face with this but just my um, nose with the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick. I use it as a contour. So this is um, the fawn shade. I'm going to put a little more of this in I'm going to bronze up my face with these two shades. And now I'm just going to use the NYX lingerie from the drugstore. Um, lip, what is it? I don't know what it is. I think it's a, it's a liquid lipstick. Um, and it's in the color shade Exotic. So that was the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And see you in my next video.